What's up guys? Um, man, I, got, I was at work all day and then I saw like first thing this morning that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre trailer dropped. I'm excited for this movie. Is this movie gonna be bad? Probably. For some reason, I can't help it. I'm still looking forward to it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a big, fat, juicy cheeseburger. That's what it is. That's what these horror movies are. And you never know what you're gonna get. One do I have this in my ear. You never know what you're gonna get with these movies. Uh, they could go in so many different directions. They could be really serious sometimes, like they did with the last one, the 2017 one, which was weird. Then you could take like something like 3D that's just a, a balls to the wall, fun ass ride of a movie. Why you guys don't like that movie? I don't know. It, it's crazy. I, I freak, do you think, cuz? I'm with it. I love it. I freaking love that movie. So I'm hoping we get something like that with this and not the last movie. The last movie was way too up its, own, up its own ass. So give me some fun. Give me some fun Texas Chainsaw Massacre, okay? With some barbecue sauce all over the top of it. All right, anyway, let's do this. Let's do this. And three, two, one, go. There's dirt. There's dirt on the screen. I like it already. That's weird. So Harlow is a ghost town. We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh. Stranger Things. Somewhere safe. These kids look like Stranger Things kids. Hey guys. Are they serious? You should see this. What are you doing in our house? You really shouldn't be here. That was nice. This is hard, Esty. I'm afraid your old friend's back. Fifty years I've been waiting for this night. Just to see him what? again. Who? <gasps> Leatherface. Damn, Leatherface looks pretty damn gnarly. Like it's you that he wants. I'm not gonna let him kill you. Fear no evil. Fear no evil. Try anything and you cancel, bro. Oh fuck. Oh <laughs> we got a it's like a lab masker from Halloween 6. Except it's a bus masker. Okay, I was kind of back and forth on that. It's, the cast kind of worries me because they do seem like they're a little bit too young or maybe they're of age and they just look like children I don't know do you guys get that vibe like comparing this to like Alexandra Daddario you know that looks like a, a fully fleshed out 20 something year old even though she's supposed to be like 40 in that movie and you know what I guess one more note on the cast comparing this and I already kind of compared it to Alexandra but you know, even the remake with Jessica Biel. They're definitely not going that route in this one. There's less of the, the like the sweaty, busty damsel in distress and, and more of, I guess, intelligent fodder. I don't know. I don't know what they're going for with this. Uh, either way, I'll still give it a chance because there's looks like there's plenty of freaking carnage. Uh, a freaking mini sledgehammer. Uh, at the end, that bus masker looks nice, especially when you got a, a bus full of you know, young 20-somethings with cell phones, and that just does not mess with Leatherface at all. My problem with this one is it seems like they're copying Halloween 2018 with Sally. You know, 50 years I've been waiting for him. Come on, writing team, you could do a little bit better than that. I'm not saying you can't have Sally in here, but also it's a different actress playing her. It's not Marion Burns who passed away. If it was Marion Burns saying, I've been waiting for him 50 years, maybe we could buy that a little bit more, but this is a completely different actress. And for some reason, it just, just doesn't hold as much weight, you know? So, I don't know. 
Um, but it's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. You know, if you give me nice bloody carnage in there, Leatherface looks badass, actually. I didn't even mention that. Like, yeah, this is, what is he, 70? Maybe 80 now? But I think they were very smart with making his face look completely mangled. And in that, that photo where it looks like he's maybe he's got somebody else's skin on. That's the thing, too. It doesn't matter how old you are. He can still use a 20-year-old's face as his skin. You know, he's Leatherface. Uh, is he gonna have a cane? I don't know. I can't make that joke though because I, I you, you could make that joke about Myers even though Myers is technically kind of supernatural even though they might not admit it. He's fucking supernatural and kills, okay? Leatherface has never been supernatural, you know? He's just a crazy hillbilly. But I could buy it, you know, I worked with this freaking guy who was in his late 60s and he was a mason and this was like one of the strongest guys I'd ever met in my freaking life. I, I swear to God, I'm not, I'm not messing with you guys. Uh, some of these, these hard-edged guys that have been, you know, like Manuel Everly, he's like holding a chainsaw and sawing freaking uh, pigs in half and shit. So that shit builds some endurance. So I'll cut him some slack on that one. Overall, I'll be there day one. It doesn't look like it takes itself as seriously as the last go around did, thankfully. So we shall see. So what are your thoughts on this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre trailer coming out in a couple weeks? Looking forward to seeing it. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day on Fridays. We do Free Fall Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums and on my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Drum Dumb out.